And of course, new this morning, St. Patrick's Day, you may just be deciding. Maybe you'll do something a little Irish this morning. Lots to choose from. And if you want to go out, there is plenty to get into all across the valley. WKBN's Greta Mitterrader, she's live in our studio with details on just exactly what's going on. Hey, Greta. Hi, good morning, David and Amy. Yes, plenty of Irish pride, whether you're Irish or not, will be on display throughout the day here. Several places open early to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. If you're looking to celebrate in downtown Youngstown, Phelps Street between West Federal and Commerce Street, Closed for Shamrock on the Block. It begins at 9 a.m. with a tent and live music throughout the day. A shuttle bus will also run from Vernon's Cafe in Niles to the event. And O'Donnell's Pub and Grill in Austintown kicked things off about a half an hour ago for an Irish breakfast. At 8, they'll have an Irish prayer. And their outdoor heated tent, which will be a popular spot, I'm sure, will be open up at noon. O'Donnell's will have live music throughout the day with the first band at 9 a.m. Last year, some 71,000 people stopped by O'Donnell's to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. But on a more serious note, a reminder, police will be stepping up patrols today. So if you've been drinking too much, call a taxi or a sober friend or family member to get you home safely. And if you suspected a drunk driver on the road, call 911. And of course, be sure to check back here with 27 First News and WKBN.com for all the latest on the St. Patrick's Day festivities. Amy?